Hi there, in this Envato Tuts Plus quick tip video, I'm going to show you how you can create an engraved stone text effect in Adobe InDesign. This gives any type an atmospheric carved effect and it only takes a few minutes to do. To create this effect, you'll need a stone texture image as well as a chunky font. And you can find suggested links for both of these at the top of the written tutorial. First up, you'll need to open InDesign and you can create your effect on any page size here, I'm going to be working on a landscape A4 page. Okay, so let's get started. In the Layers panel, double click on Layer 1 and rename this as Background. Then create a second new layer and rename this as Type. And then you want to lock the type layer so you can work on the background layer first. Select the Rectangle Frame tool from the Tools panel and drag over the page to create an image frame that extends across the whole page. Then with this frame selected, head up to File and Place. Choose your stone background image and click Open. Allow it to fill up the whole frame and you can rotate it to match the orientation better if you need to as well. Then select the image frame and edit and copy. With the frame selected, go to Object Effects Transparency and bring the opacity down to 50%. Then click OK to exit the window. Then go to Edit and choose Paste in Place. Then with this new copy selected, head to Object Effects Gradient Feather. Set the type to Radial, allowing the gradient to get lighter towards the centre of the page. So you might need to reverse the gradient to do this. Right, cool, that's our background done. So now we can start working on the type. So lock the background layer and unlock the type layer above. Create a large text frame across the centre of the page using the Type tool and type in your text. Set the font to Charlevoix Pro Extra Bold or a font of your own choice. Chunky, simple fonts tend to work better for this text effect. So once you've formatted your text and you're happy with it, head up to Type and Create Outlines to vectorise the text. Then edit Copy the vector to keep a copy to hand for a little bit later on. With the vector selected, go to File and Place. Choose the same stone background image as before and open, allowing it to fill the whole text. Then go to Object Effects Transparency and you want to choose Multiply from the Mode menu. Then click on Inner Shadow in the Windows menu and bring the opacity down to 30%. Increase the choke to 45% and bring up the noise to 30% before clicking OK. Then go to Edit and Paste in Place to drop a copy of the original vectorized text onto the page. So from the Swatches panel, create a new CMYK swatch that mimics some of the tones in the darker parts of your stone image. So you can use the eyedropper tool to do this or just create your own swatch which is grey or brown, something dark that's going to kind of mimic the shadows in the stone. So here I'm going to create a grey swatch which is going to be Cyan74 magenta 53, yellow 39, and black 29. And then you want to apply your new swatch to the fill of the new vector. Great. So if this still selected, go to Object Effects Transparency and set the mode of the vector to Multiply. Click on Gradient Feather and create a minus 90 degree linear gradient, which is going to create a deep shadow effect inside the text. Then Edit Copy and Edit Paste in Place the vector and then go to Object, Effects and Gradient Feather. Switch the angle to 90 degrees to flip the direction of the shadow effect. Click OK and you're done. So your engraved stone text effect is now finished. Awesome work, well done.